Hi guys. Long time no video, but I'm back and I figured I'd start with a quick and easy one that I've been getting a lot of questions about and it's how I've been coloring jeans. Um, I'm just going to get started and I'll talk as I go through. I'm using My Guy Ian from The Greeting Farm because he had a great pair of jeans on there for the example that I'll be doing. I have three uh, color sets that I are my go-to's for coloring jeans and um, for this one I'm going to be using B95, <clears throat> B97, and B99. I'm going to start with the B95, the lightest color, and I'm going to have my light source coming from the left over here. So I'm going to just start laying in the color opposite that light source and just quickly flicking the color in. Now the other two uh, color groupings that I use for coloring denim jeans is B34, B37, and B39. It's another dark wash uh, look, um, but a little bit bluer. And then the other one that I do is B91, B93, and B95, and that gives you a really light wash jean. Uh, so it really just depends on what papers I'll be using on the card and, you know, kind of what look I want the image to have. Okay, then I'm going to jump to my B97 and I'm going to start laying the color in there. Not quite as far in as the 95. Just getting the color on. We're not worrying about blending right now. Getting it in there where it's casting that shadow from the shirt. Okay. in there. Um, I'm using Paper Tray Ink cardstock today. I also use uh, Copic Express it quite a bit too. Either one you can do this technique. I'm sure on any, but those are my two cardstocks that I really like to use when I'm stamping and coloring with Copic markers. Then I'm just going in with my B99, my darkest color and just hitting the shadows back here. Laying it in down there. And I'll even use that to hit kind of little creases that we're going to want. Okay. Now I'm going back down. So back to my medium color, the 97. This is where I start blending it in. Now it's kind of that circular motion. It's getting that color nice and smooth. Okay. Oh, don't want to forget that. And then finally, back down to the B95. And you'll notice at First, you know, I leave the part that I want to be the lightest color blue white till the very end. I just, it's a nice way to control um, how light you keep that part. I tend to do that quite a bit, leaving the white space for my lightest area. And then it gets color at the very end. I'm just blending that all together. Okay, and now we're going to get to the part that really makes the denim look like denim. And this is a tip that I picked up from the fabulous Kelly Booth. Thank you, Kelly. I couldn't live without it. And it's actually taking a piece of denim. And yes, a pair of jeans were harmed in the making of this video. But after you see the results, I don't think you'll mind. I'm going to let this one sit for a minute. And I'll start. I have these two colored up. This is how it looks, the B34, 37, 39. 
This is the 91, 93, 95, and then the one we just did, the 95, 97, 99. So you can see the difference in uh, colors uh, with the jeans. So it's whatever you want to go for that day. And it's best to, to do this technique uh, after your coloring has dried a little bit. So that's why I've colored up these ones already, and we'll let this one dry a bit. So I'm going to take some colorless blender and my little scrap of denim. And I'm just going to put a little bit on there. And it's as simple then as just kind of laying the fabric right on the stamped image, letting it sit a little bit. And this is also why I will, if I know I'm going to be doing denim jeans and I want to do this technique, that's the first thing I color on the image. Um, so that way I'm not accidentally giving denim texture to, say, his arms or his shirt when I'm going over this. And then once the uh, um, colorless blender dries, you can go back in and, you know, color the rest of the image. So we got him. We'll add a little bit more colorless blender here. We'll do our light wash jeans. We're just holding it in place. You just keep going over it until you got the texture the way you want it. And this one's going to be a little bit more subtle just because we're working with the lighter colors on this, but you'll definitely see it in real life, if not like in a picture posted on the blogs or whatever, but it's there. Okay, and then we got our last one. See how easy this is? Just need to find the old pair of jeans to cut up. Add a little bit of colorless blender. Give it a nice little pat. And you're good to go. Pretty nifty little trick, if I do say so. And there we got it. Three pairs of denim jeans. Any guy would be proud of wearing, or girl for that matter. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.